That's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> We're back with Adam, Congressman Adam Kinzinger. <laughs> no, uh, Congress doesn't have the power uh, to prosecute. These aren't trials. Right. These are revelations from the hearings that you've been holding for a year now. But knowing all the information that you do, are you um, frustrated, or how do you feel about the speed with which the Justice Department is bringing indictments of any kind? I'm frustrated at the speed. I know they have a job to do. I think, you know, the revelations of, you know, the cell phone of Clark being taken and, and the raiding his home, those are good signs that, you know, they're actually pursuing this. That has to be a fairly uh, firm set of evidence there because they're going to a former high-ranking Justice Department official. That's right. And saying, give us your electronics. Yeah, exactly. Somebody that knows how this game works, and that's got to go to somebody else. What They're not going after Jeffrey Clark, I would imagine. It's got to be somebody above that, and who is it? But I am frustrated that, for instance, um, Mark Meadows and Dan Scavino have refused to come in and talk to Congress. We have the power of subpoena similar to what a court has, and the Justice Department has failed to indict them for that. And so all it does is send a message, you just have to resist the select committee, and you may be able to resist all penalties. That's been a frustration. Well, former Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney said yesterday he tweeted in response to the testimony he saw that it is inevitable that Meadows will be indicted and will have to come testify. Do you think that what we've learned recently will actually increase that pressure on the Justice Department, or not increase the pressure, but provide revelations the Justice Department uh, can see as justification for the indictment. Yeah, I certainly think so. And I think, you know, look, we have these two investigations, and again, I don't know what justice is doing or not doing, but assuming they're investigating, we have our investigation that's very public. Um, this all kind of feeds together. And even though we are not the committee that goes out and indicts people criminally, we can bring forward important information. And I think the case that we're making right now is that the president knew that he had lost the election and he attempted to over overcome the will of the American people. And by the way, we never want to get in a position where we're just prosecuting last administrations. That's another thing you see in failed democracies. But when you try to overthrow the will of the people and you try a coup in the United States government, you have to pay for that, period. That's what we require. <laughs> Now, one of the things that one of the things that we have learned uh, not not only yesterday but the, the the previous testimony that we got, I believe, last Thursday, was that uh, at least five members of uh, Congress have petitioned the administration for pardons. Do you think that at least warrants an investigation because the, the, the sort of the maxim of the law is, is that accepting a pardon is an admission of guilt? That's actually one of the things that Ford said about giving Nixon his pardon, is that he reminded everyone that Nixon accepting that pardon was an admission of guilt yep. from the president. And in that case, it was actually a form of closure that Nixon had to admit his guilt. These people are admitting their guilt by asking for a pardon what do you think should ha happen? Well, look, I, I mean, on, in the congressional side, there can be some ethics things that we do. We have asked every one of these people to come in and talk to us, and they have refused. In their own institution, their own institution that they believe, so to speak, in the investigative power of, they have refused to come in. So that is up to the Justice Department at what they do next. But let me be very clear because they're gonna go out and say, well, we wanted a pardon because of the left-wing media and we thought there was gonna be a witch hunt against us. You do not seek a pardon unless you actually think that either you committed a crime or you're concerned that maybe you committed a crime. And that's one of the things Cassidy had made the point of yesterday is the discussions in the White House leading up to January 6th where people are saying, we may have a problem here. We may be guilty of all these crimes. They knew what they were doing. These Republican members of Congress knew what they were doing, and they need to be shamed for it in the very least. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, I will ask the congressman what the future of this committee is for the rest of the summer. Stick around.